Riveting content. Empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Do you desire to belong to a community of unity? Visit KOGPassion.com to learn more about the Unleash Your Dopeness movement. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at the sphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1 844 700 4463. What's going on, everyone? It's your man, Kaden Laws, a.k.a. Senor Wapo, and you're tuned in to another edition of G is for Gentlemen. Do me a solid. Hook your boy up and go to Instagram, go to Twitter, go to Facebook, and follow me at Senor Wapo 713 That's S-A-N-O-R-G-U-A-P-O-713 on all social media outlets. How at you, boy. you today, huh? You fancy today. This is what the show going to be like, huh? We're just going to have a good time today. We're going to have a good time. You hear the other boys. You hear my brothers, man, my homeboys, my guys. My dudes um, uh, in gentlemanly culture, in style, Roy's Nate. What's up, fellas? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? You doing all right? I'm chilling. Y'all good? Yes, yes, sir. Hola, como estas? <laughs> I'm in it. You in it? You in that thing? Huh? I'm in there. You in yeah. that thing? You gonna leave me? You in my that man, thing? I didn't see that. I was, I was bad in my own glory. Yeah, it was good. How about yours? Yeah, I said weekend week. It was good, man. It was, yeah. it was busy as ever, as always. I, um, you know, traffic got kicked back up now because school back in, so that makes yeah. me, that upsets me. But you know. I do a lot of driving because I'm all over the city. Well, that's you in Texas. You're gonna be driving everywhere. Anyway. That means facts. Yes, yeah. you don't like coming out your house. But. Right, 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 right. Because public transport out here is trash. It be, Ain't it though? Yeah. You know what? <clears throat> and it's frustrating because when when like my wife's from New York, so we, we go we go there all the time. I enjoy just putting my keys in my pocket or leaving them in the hotel room or or my in laws' crib. And because I don't need them, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I don't have to get nobody car, I just hop on the train, hop in a, hop in the taxi, and I'm good. Man, Nate's, I'm not a, Nate's not a morning person. Are you a morning person? You know, uh, I'm a morning person, but at the same time, I'm not. Uh, I know that things got to get done, so you know, I'm not the type of person that I gotta uh, press news, but uh. It's so much muscle memory because I'm used to getting up at a specific amount of time. So as soon as my alarm go off, I'm up about my business, whatever the case may be. But my first couple clients in the morning, it'd it be strictly, <laughs> it'd be strictly muscle memory. They don't talk, I don't talk. We, I point, they, they go to it and then uh, going yeah. about my business. Right. But right, right. you know, you got to be a morning person to be in the, the field that I'm in. Mm -hmm. So I get up easily. It's just that, yeah. Who really wants to get up at four in the morning though? Nah, nah, it has nothing to do with me being a morning yeah, person. Shot. It's know, just when I'm know. starting my day. Yeah. It's so just, you can start your day at three and you still be irritable. It don't matter when my no, I don't so thank you. So it's the it's the beginning. It's almost like, for example, you're an educator, so you know this. When, when kids make bad grades, it's harder to bring those grades up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's my day goes smoother mm -hmm. when it starts off in a better place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, cause I can get pissed off early, and I'm like, "Well, yeah, now it's down here from here. Yeah, this yeah. is gonna be hard to bring it back <laughs> because things are, typically don't get better when you go to work. Yeah. So I like let me start in the best possible zone I can. Okay. So that's why yeah. I be like, I like I, mean, I hear, I hear, I, like I, hear that my, clear. I know for me riding the train, it because I, I guess I'm so used to it. I put my head just like in New York. I put my head. I hit put my headphones on. Mm -hmm. and, you know what I mean. And I just zone out. You know, I'm, I'm ch I've never been with my kids. You know, since, since they've been alive, we haven't been up there. We're well, not as a family, been individually. But uh, but when one wife and I go there, we just zone out. We laugh at people. People watching laugh at people. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> it don't bother me. I just prefer to be in my own vehicle. Yeah, no, I got you. I, I when, I'm, when I'm up there, bro, I, I, I look. 
I, it's nothing like I just because I drive so much here, man. You're, no, from, no, I, you're from Texas. I know, and of I live course in the suburbs. You drive. And I live in the biggest city in the in, in fourth largest city in the, in the country. So you yeah. know, and you chose that. I did. I did. Okay. Listen, I did. I can't mad. I can't be mad. But you know, um, we all have to choose our clothing. We all have to choose what we wear. Yeah. And and, and, and you know, here's for Jesus for gentlemen. We always want you to choose correctly and choose wisely. But when you make those choices, take care of your stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take care of your stuff. In fact, that way you don't have to get rid of stuff. Like I, I'm a I'm a I'm a proponent of, of like doing a dump or, or a closet clean. If you let's see, what is this? 2019 now. So in tw- early 2018, 20 yeah, early 2018, I just I went ham and gave away like 30 pair of jeans. You know what I'm saying? And just, just I said like, I'm just tired. I'm over them. I, I don't want them no more. I, I ain't wearing them. I don't need them. Why do I have that okay. many pair of jeans? You know what I'm saying? Huh? Yeah. So I just like, called some of my students who I knew were sim- my style, my size similar to my size. I said, yeah, y'all want them. You know, bring them, to, bring them to campus. You can, you can check them if you want. If not, they go into, they go into some service or somebody yeah. somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's important that I only, I did that because I wanted to get back, and I was tired of my clothes, not because they needed to be given away. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to say because I don't closet dumps. I don't do them. Yeah, you don't. Because typically, I won't. I only buy stuff that I feel like is gonna be in fashion for a while. Yes, yeah, it's the same here. Yeah, same here. But I just was like, eh, I'm over it. That's why, I like a lot of urban brands, I don't buy. Yeah, and a lot of like people's buying like a lot of like design things like Louis Vuitton with spikes. Like, I'm not gonna buy those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm like they're not gonna be. It's in a stuff. trend. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm not big on that. That's Facts. What, that's why I don't know if you remember when the first time I was on the show, you asked me when I was a guest, you asked what my favorite brands were, and I was like, other than my own thing, WJ not it's Ralph Lauren and Brooks Brothers because they've been around Twice. forever mm-hmm. and they're always gonna be there and it's something that you can always wear. Mm-hmm. It's a good quality. Love Ralph Lauren and Brooks. Come on, you, you can never go wrong. Yeah, so it's my thing. Classic it's, American it's never gonna go out of style. So that's why I was like, I don't because well, you know, and what we do, I feel like my my clothes is an investment. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I'm just throwing money away, mm-hmm. and I think that's a trap that we, especially black people, fall into way too often. No, I agree, man. I, I agree. I know for me, you know, my 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 go to pair of denim, like what what what, not my go to brand for denim was probably eighty percent, eighty to ninety percent of my denim is Levi's. So it wasn't so the quality, you know, Levi's, you know, they're, they're not really they're not expensive at all. The best quality you can ever have, in my mm-hmm. opinion, you know, especially for the price point. It just was a different cut. I I slimmed down some. So I was it was five hundred ones. I don't wear five hundred ones now. I wear five elevens or five twelves. So a little slimmer. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in the gym like I once was, and I just was like, eh, I'm over it. But but a lot of guys though, you know what I'm saying? They 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 they, they just don't know how to take care of their stuff. Yeah, this is true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't know how to take care of their stuff. And, and and Trunk Club. I don't know if you guys heard of this. This the, the yeah. male yeah. the the male service uh, Trunk Club. They um. Conducted a survey of Americans to better understand their struggles for caring for their clothes and found out that uh, most Americans throw away, throw away, not give away. Say, I ain't throw it away, I gave it away, son. Throw away in the trash, in la basura, right? In the trash, 10 items a year, son. That's a lot to me. That's a lot. I, like, I, 10. I got stuff from Zara I've had for 10 years. Yeah. And that ain't the best quality. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. I don't, I don't really throw. Every time I throw stuff away, like if it's gotten it's wore out to where it has holes in it. Yeah, my, or it actually because, got bleeds. Yeah, something. and because yeah, that's just, different. Because just because it's homeless people, I'm not gonna give them crap either. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, she, yeah. She, she yeah. Is she is that. I'm not yeah. gonna give them give them something that you would wear. I'm yourself. not gonna give them something less fortunate. I just like. Like it just wore out. Like I got like old basketball shirts and workout shirts that mm-hmm. got holes in they And I ain't gonna lie. I still wear those. No, I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm, 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 basketball I'm, shirt. Yeah. No, no, I'm talking about holes in them to the point where it's barely holding on. Yeah. Like, yeah. like the neck got like two stitches, two stitches on <laughs> hey, it. Hey, they give it character. Cause I hold on to it for a while. It is really it's yeah, like man. it really can't be anything done else with it. That's when I get. Yeah, no, no doubt. No but doubt. Yeah, I'm not gonna be. Like, God, be like man, if they trying to stay warm, I'm gonna give them something with holes in it. Yeah. Man, that ain't gonna go through that. No, I'm mm-hmm. saying so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, they, you know. According to this article, it was saying that uh, they give them away due to shrinkage, color issues, and damage. Right. Forty-three mm-hmm. percent um, of the people that responded said they rarely or never read care instructions for their clothing. Do y'all read the tags on how to on how to wash? And I, do. To, do. I do. Nate, do. do. You do. I do. I mean, uh, Royce, it, you. It depends on uh, the clothing. If it's like you know from Zara or something like that, man, it is what it is. Oh, but when I'm buying some designer, yeah, I'm looking at them care instructions because <laughs> these, these, these Montclair collar shirts, I'm trying to make sure it don't shrink right. up in there when I take it, uh, take it mm. to the cleaners or whatever. So it, it just yeah. depends yeah. on I what got it is. This. I realize, man, most stuff you can dry clean. Yeah, because because that's gonna be the most care to is dry clean. Mm-hmm. And the ones I'm not gonna take to get dry clean, like some, like some Nike shorts, you know, the ones to be like like the sweats or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the fleece. But I want to make sure, like. I, like I don't wash them to where they where the where the, the, the sign comes, comes off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I look at that because 
40, 50 dollars for some shorts. For some, yeah, some yeah. cotton shorts. Yeah, yeah some so shorts, like yeah. those things I look at more so, but other stuff, I'm like, oh, that's clean, that's clean, that's clean. Yeah, yeah and, and, and so you guys' response yeah. is uh, on par with this study. It said 21% rarely, if ever, follow the instructions that they read. That's crazy. Now, that's just dumb to me. But yeah. I can believe it, though, because think about how many people actually try on clothes before they buy them. That's true. A lot of people don't. Yeah. That's true. I mean, true. It, if, if I know the brand, I ain't trying to know. Well, well, and even if I don't know the brand, I'm not why, why, why 10, I'm speak not for men because women have you in there all day long. Yeah. Trying, but a lot of men don't try on their clothes. They don't know what size they actually wear. So I could definitely see that. Yeah, I mean, you may, you, yeah, that's a good point, man. Yeah. Um, when building your wardrobe, it's important to think about how you'll take care of those pieces, said Maggie Mee. And, this, and she's the head of merchandising at Tron Club. Um, um, she says, understanding different fabrics uh, and the best way to clean them can make your make laundering your clothes a lot easier and will help them last longer. So that little tag, man, find a tag. At least look at it. At least know how to care for it. I think it becomes, after a while, you, you know, you're 30 years old. We all 30 plus. We know how to wash clothes. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. After, yeah. There's certain things. Like if I have something that's got a, a, something that on it that's a little bit more intricate, like I need to read this and figure out. Okay. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, and, like, whoa, whoa. And typically, how? whenever it has some type of print or something mm-hmm. on that I don't know, I'm like, hold on, well, if I do this, will, this will, will it affect this? Will uh-huh. that come? Yeah, I do that. Yeah, yeah. But for the most part, you're right. You should know. Yeah, at, at, this, right at, at this stage in your life, you know, you're a grown man. Learn how to wash your clothes. Please. 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 <laughs> please say it again please please please. please please hey out there 21 plus you should know how to wash your own clothes facts facts please and and, and and you know they had a statement in this article that said we lose we being americans lose an incredible 600 pieces of clothing in our lifetime because we don't properly care for them that's a lot bro that's a lot 600 pieces it's just because you ain't willing to wash it right as americans yeah What's the majority of people of in America? Okay, I got the white folks. Yeah, no doubt. Cause, no. I, cause I, I'm gonna be honest, with you, I don't know many. Me personally, I don't know a ton of black people who have possibly come across 600 pieces. <laughs> right, right. That's See, a lot. That's a lot of clothes. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of clothes. Stuff I got, I hold on to. Right. So you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might get the 300 in your that's lifetime. That's why I'm like 600. I, no, I can say that me because what the yeah, what, what we're, we're do. doing, mm-hmm. but I don't think most of us get to six hundred pieces. I mean, that's that's a good a point. That's a good point. And most of us aren't shopping at Trunk Club either or yeah. using Trunk yeah. Club. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. tried the service one time. I I kind of didn't like it. Oh yeah. Um, it wasn't nothing wrong with it, but it was the the style of of dress. I felt like I could have put it together myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was nothing special about it. Yeah, yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't nothing special. Like you know, I, I like to be open up to. Uh, different types of fashion that I either wouldn't have tried or didn't even think about trying. And with that, it was like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. I guess it takes the guesswork out of somebody that really don't pay attention to their clothes like 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 we do. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. I, I thought just, it was cool. I just thought about something. In the world, was it the 600, was that for America or in the world? It's, it's America. It's said America. Okay, it's America. America. Is there yeah. more women or men in America? See, they didn't say. They didn't say. Because I think there's probably more women because women definitely live longer than we do. And yeah. You know, women and, and they, they shop more, much more pieces yeah. of clothes. Yeah, yeah, as a generalization, yeah. for Sorry, sure. Sorry, Trunk for Club. Sure. The numbers are skewed far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned. Check these additional findings, though. Um, the survey said 29% of folks, uh, the, the respondents, rarely or never use spot cleaning methods, you know, using the, the shout and all that kind of deal, hmm. uh, to clean their clothing. Um, uh, following a spill, 56% of the respondents uh, said that they ha- they hang their sweaters. Um, and storing denim seemed to be like a really, really polarizing issue. Said 48% said they fold their jeans, while 47% say they hang them. Now I fold my jeans now. Mm-hmm. I fold mine too. Mm-hmm. Because just how my closet set up is just I have more jeans and they don't weigh on the hang as much, so I, it's easier to stack them up. Right, 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 right. So I fold them now. Right. Yeah. I used to hang. Them. Yeah, I used to hang everything. I'm from Dallas, man. <clears throat> we hang. We hung everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know I'm from Dallas, but we we yeah, hung single. everything. Yeah. You know what? I love this part of the show because it's time to pay some bills. And we're Let's talking about it. something that I think is very important. And I'm going to talk about it as much as they let me do it. This portion of the show is sponsored by Houston Housewives of Finance. Did you know that only four states in the U.S. of A. offer financial education? That's 33% or more than 77 million of Americans don't pay their bills on time. 39% of Americans carry credit card debt from month to month. And 39% of adults say they don't have enough savings. Oh, that's so terrible. Don't become one of these statistics, please. Let Houston Housewives of Finance advise you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager by scheduling your complimentary personal financial strategy. Contact Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. 
or email us at info at Houston Housewives of Finance.com. Ask us how you can participate in a complimentary financial literacy workshop near you. Houston Housewives of Finance are the new faces of the new age of financial services. Listen, man, we got to get your coin right. It's important. Most definitely. It's important. Because I've, I've, I've been a part of those statistics. I've been a part of not having enough savings. You I've been both. a part of... You know, carrying credit card debt for month to month. Hell, I just got out of it, honestly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's just keep it 100. Because it it's man. set up. The financial system, you know, you're studying this right now. The financial system is set up in, in that way for us to keep that credit, man. But did y'all know I took this credit course, man? And this is random. But uh, it's a dope, it's a dope um, uh, fact. And I verified it. That's a, that once you pay off all your credit, all your creditors, your credit score is zero. Really? Because you don't have any credit. Your FICO will go down to zero after a certain amount. Of, if you don't open it up, open any credit accounts up after I forget the number. I have to look at a certain amount of time, and you pay it down. Your FICO is zero because they they had nothing to track. Wow. Because the only, only thing, only wow. thing, because you have no debt to get income ratio because you have no debt. You see what I'm saying? Very interesting. Well, they very interesting. You, they want you to get debt. They would just, anyway, that's a different conversation. So, um, back to this back to this survey, man. The hanging sweaters thing. I was a grown man before I realized you shouldn't do that. Yeah, I, I don't do it. Yeah, I don't do it either now. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, because it, 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 you pull the neck, you pull the nape out, and you can keep them the little bumps in your shoulders. Right yeah. there in your shoulders. Yeah. You know I'm, what I mean? I'm real particular on stuff being like, like I don't know if it, I'm just, you might say OCD type tendency. I like everything to be real flesh. Like, mm -hmm. no matter what it is, I don't like any spaces, any gaps. So I always had the tight neck tees and right. like my I like my collars to be stiff around my yeah. neck. And I like so the sweaters. I'm like, nah, I can't do that. So that, and I learned that just from experience. Like, nah, I'm not. I'm just gonna fold. No right. More, no more hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no. I, I was grown before I knew that, man. Me too. I was grown, man. It was like I had a I had a, I had an uncle. I don't really remember who who told me. It was like you shouldn't. And then I was thought about it. I was like, yeah, I do. I always had them little humps right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In my shoulders and stuff start because the weight, it starts elongating yeah, yeah. the thread because it's hanging. You know what I'm saying? So, just, the, you know, I'm tall, but I don't want to wear no tall T sweater. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> you oh, know. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys weren't as well vexed as I am. Yeah. I, well, forgive us for not way. being. Well, I know now. And right, right. My sweater's on point now. I'm good. No, I'm good now. For, for us not being WJ knotted. All right, hey, man, you know I mean? hey brother, I can't expect everything for everybody. <laughs> but um that's why we are here. Um at, the people. at Jizz for Gym. That's why we are here, man. That matter and that's funny because WJ not that's some of the stuff we talk about on our site is very edu educational. I yeah. want people to know those small things. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. So. You got you gotta know how to take it and take care of your stuff, man. We've talked about this. I was going through the show um a few weeks ago and looking at just old things we talked about, and this was early on. We had an actual garment care show. So I think we need to bring that back, man. We really just oh, that's show legit. People, yeah, people how to really take care of their garments, how to take care of leather, how to take care of properly, take care of suede and cotton and different textiles, man. Because it, like you say, it, it our clothes are an investment. Very much so. It's an investment. Whether you whether you whether you pay, buy, buying high end or you shopping at Walmart, regardless, it's your hard earned money mm -hmm. that you're spending. So why throw it away by not taking? Look, because 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 look, we wash our car sometimes two three times a week. Yeah, you know, what I mean? you know, all change gonna be changed regularly. Daddy. Some people work out every day. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so so you take it five you know, days a week, man. Five well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank so, I wasn't even talking about you, but oh, I'm just okay. saying. Yeah. But, but I but I said that because you know that health and all that is very is very big right now. Mm -hmm. You know, that's very big. People are really into that. So yeah, pe people really subscribe to that kind of to that kind of thing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the health and wellness they subscribe to. To taking care of themselves, so I think you should subscribe to to taking care of your your, your clothes. Too. Of course, Very much so. But speaking of subscribe, subscribe Facebook Live. We ask that you subscribe to our show on all the major platforms, including iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. Review our show in iTunes with constructive feedback. We want to know what you're hearing. Share this Facebook Live post and the entire show with your family and friends. Donate to our mission to bring in rich and inspiring content each and every week. You can donate at www.thespirit dot tv dash donate yeah please. there it is please we need you we need you take care of your coin and then come give some of it to us yes, you understand sir. what i'm saying on a side note yeah we're on spotify too because i listened to our last two podcasts while i was in the gym yesterday oh really yeah. i didn't even realize we was on spotify we, we on are, spotify. We hey, are yo, on spotify we on spotify you gotta check us out i love it man yeah. so you can go on spotify i, I listened to like, i listened to the one with t phelps was here okay okay and i listened to the last one i was like man how do we sign i was like oh it's on this so i was just I was, yeah while you're working out yeah yeah so i was in the way that i was listening to it. Oh, that's that's dope. dope, man. That's, that's dope. dope. You know, you know, um, 
what else is dope was we're we're in fashion show season, right? We're in fashion show, we're in trade yeah, show yeah, season yeah, yeah. all over the world. And, and what a lot of people don't know, man, I wanted to kind of bring this to the forefront, is this this um trade just trade show called Piti Umo, right? And it's in Florence and it's really the first one um to really in terms of for European style to really cement itself it's rooted back it was started i think 1952 um as a celebration for italian fashion right um and and it was the first high italian fashion show uh and then it was moved to it was so successful that a few years later it was moved to um the pt fair pretty much what's known as the pt fairgrounds and and it just became it just grew and grew and grew and grew and you know it was a trade show it was a fashion show they they were the ones you know how New York Fashion Week used to be back in the day you know ten it, not 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 even as far as ten years ago where you only had to be an elite to get into New York Fashion Week you had to be a buyer you had to be you know what I'm saying somebody that knew somebody it wasn't open like you know we can just all go get tickets now get on somebody's PR list and go get tickets mm-hmm. well this was like that up front they wanted to make sure that it was for the community because fashion is such a big deal in 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 italy right it means where especially well in 72 pt umo actually became the what we know is now is pt imagine now and it's the number one menswear platform in the world right in terms of a trade show they have three two to three hundred thousand men a year that's just men coming wow. through yeah to to that's to dope. To, to, to look at the textiles, to look at the designers, to look at the shows, and they've even expanded it um, to fragrance and taste and food now. So Pitti, I don't even know how to speak. Fran, fr- 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 thank for thank you. Granze. And Pitti Taste, right? And so it, it's a four-day festival that just ended today. Um, what is it? Um, January 8th through 11th. And then it, it happens in June from 11th to the 14th. So I got to get out there. Like, if you go look at them, I think we got some images. If you go look at some of the style that they had there, bro, it's from it's from every spectrum. You got to dapper. You, you know, it's, it's Italian. So you're going to see suits because it's Italy. Like, you know, that's what they're known for, right? The Italian fabrics. You know, Edmund the Hill, Zania. You know, to me, that's the best fabric you can have. Yeah. A Zania fa- a, a fabric, you know. But the street style is on point, man. Like, like this is normally what you're gonna see. Um, uh, it, 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 it's high fashion. It's different, and then and then that's the PT Humo in terms of. I'd wear that. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, not but that, it's not. You wouldn't wear that in the street style. Nah, I didn't like those. But but that but the, but that's but a that, dope. That's a dope thing about fashion. Exactly. It's yeah. different stuff for everybody. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's why I love this so one. Bad. That's yeah, why I love yeah. this one. It, you know, I love New York Fashion Week. I love Paris Fashion Week and all of that. But I love Pitti Umo because you see everything there from the pictures. I've never been, but from the pictures mm-hmm. I've seen, man. And I got to get it. And it's in Florence, the home of the Renaissance. Mm-hmm. So then you get culture there. You go to the museums. You go to, you know, you see all the art and all that, you know, the philosophy. So hey, next year we going. Let, I, let's do it June, bro. I'm with it. Oh, well, if you want to do it June, then let's do it June. Yeah, I'm not opposed to that at all, man. The <laughs> three brothers of Florence and shut yeah. it down. For, and, then, and, then for we, and we're gonna be three different spectrums. We're gonna have different folks, uh, and then you know me, I'm trying to out street style everybody up there. Right. You know so I mean? that, that'll so, give you ain't that, no telling. Yeah, ain't no telling what I'm gonna have. <laughs> I'm gonna be in you. I'm gonna be with you on the street style on that one. <laughs> Let's go. Cause you gotta, you gotta perform. Listen, when you play in the garden, you gotta hoop, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you yeah. gotta when you when you go to pin relays, you gotta show up. Yeah. It was an all-star game. You got to bring your A game. Got to so, do it. You know what I'm saying? What What you think, Nate? No, no, no. Hey, brother, I agree with you, man. I agree with you, man. I, hey, the, hey, the brighter the lights, the bigger the show. It is. So I'm all, I'm all why, for it. That's why Kobe and Jordan will always be the greatest. Okay. See, always. I see. Yeah, you're right about that. Because <laughs> when the lights come on, they brightest. They they they. Let, hold on, hold on. Scratch. I'm not saying that. I'm from San Antonio. Tim Duncan all day I'm long. Gonna I'm gonna just throw that. I'm not gonna argue. He's the greatest power forward. Ever. No, 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 no. He gets overlooked all the time. I agree. I'm not gonna Accolade, argue. stat for stat, line him up against anybody except for Michael Jordan. You, you can make an argument because it's, it's stat line is bigger than your boy too. Kobe just hit made more points. That's it. I, I'm, I'm <clears> not gonna <throat> argue with you. Certain you see, for me, when you had this conversation, certain names I just don't argue with. Like if you just say somebody like D Wade, who's great and amazing Hall of Fame, I'd argue with you because that's just dumb. Yeah. I'm not gonna finna argue with that. I'm not because yeah, you got you, you got can't a argue point. with the, uh, the big fundamental. Battle, but I can't argue. Yeah, with you. Can't argue some with people, big some people, if the, the, the dude, the greatest power forward. And I forgot what the guy, top. I forgot what the dude said. The he said there's ten. He said there's ten people that changed the NBA. He's definitely what, yeah, he's I agree. one of those people. I yeah. agree. He, he brought fundamentals back to it he to the definitely game did. when they were gone. Yep. And, and he was the cornerstone of a, a arguably the greatest franchise in sports history. Okay. Arguably. That's what I said. Arguably. Yeah. Yeah. Arguably. yeah. Listen, the greatest arguably the greatest coach 
in sports history. I that's that, if you, I, I wouldn't argue it. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say I don't know if I'd argue Pop it to Pop, be honest bro. with you. Yeah. And I'm gonna say this, we're gonna get off this basketball. There's some cooking in San Antonio this season. Oh. I don't know if y'all been watching lately. I have and it, what is it? False chili? <laughs> Oh no 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 no! Cooking it. No 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 no! I've been I've been what, watching it. Remember what he said. I, 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 listen, remember what I he just said. Left the remember what he said. I got you. Yeah. People talk about how they start off the year. People didn't realize they had new eight eight spot new eight eight new people on the roster. Mm-hmm. First twenty five games, hmm, they the hottest team the last seventeen games. They ranked number one damn near every category the last seventeen games. That must have been uh, five or six games after the Rockets were on their like no, 12, 13 game win streak. The Rockets did, been, but they said yeah. those are the two hottest teams. In yeah, the that, but that right? was all the two no, hottest no, teams. Don't get me wrong. San Antonio is going to make the playoffs. Yeah. Oh. All right. San Antonio is greatly coached. We, we, and you well, can't no, deny DeMar DeRozan no, and LaMarcus Aldridge. No, but we got we to we we get back because we're going to get stuck on this. Yeah, we will. We will. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, will. We will. We will. So, but let. Let go ahead, but uh, Phantom Chili. That's all I was gonna say. That's what's stupid. Cooking. You stupid. So Royce, I remember that. This, this, and, and, and this, this next one, man. I think you will really love this because this is right up your alley uh, in terms yeah, of your Stilo. <laughs> 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 in terms of your Stilo, man. Fact, I'm gonna go check <laughs> some messages. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We can talk about that. I'm gonna show y'all the picture of my crop pants this past weekend. Listen, it's dope, listen, man. listen. So, so I want to talk about the perfect crop pants. So you, I know, I know a lot of gentlemen have seen. You know this rise in so-called rise in crop pants, man, and it's um it's really not a rise, man. It's really not something. It's it's something that's been around all the time. It's just it's just we've been we've been conditioned to we we're seeing these um, on the rack all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like now you're starting to see suits that are cropped. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Come like that. Like you trying to pay us. Trying to suit you like, whoa! I didn't even realize they was crap. Hold on, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like suits like that. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is, I prefer like the street style. I don't like suits like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I got, I got okay. you. But what I'm saying is, it's, 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 it's that's become new. But crop pants really haven't been have been around. Like people been rolling their leg up forever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, and so, let's kind of talk a little bit about the types of different crops pants. And uh, the first one. Is the one I'm uh, what I was just talking about, and that's the loose, the loose um, fold, loose right? Fold. Yeah. Just taking a pair of your favorite trousers, your jeans, you just roll them up. Simple. Yeah, that's what I do a lot to mine. Yeah, I do a lot. I do the loose fold. Well, I wear slims and skinny, so it don't really look loose sometimes. Um, but I do a loose fold. Uh, you do it above the hem. I think we have a, an image for all of these. Uh, two or three times. Finding a, the, the key is to find a, a height that works with you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Everybody legs are different length. Everybody calves are shaped are shaped differently, right? Um, so you, you wanted to look like it was purposely done, but not weird. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Man. Not trying too hard. Mm-hmm. Man, I remember undergrad man I had a lot of opponents that was cappers, and they had and, uh, for a while a lot of them were doing that. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. it's I don't know why there's certain things from like like as far as how people wore stuff and kind of stick out to me. That was one of them. For yeah, a while, the it loose was, fold. Like the gene would roll them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Loose fold, and, it, and it's, it's gotten it, it, it. You don't see it as much now. Um, because the jeans are a lot sl- slimmer and mm-hmm. thinner, um, b- but in, the, in more of the backpackers and a lot of the urban, uh, yeah, yeah, li- yeah, you know what I'm saying? The slickers, that, yeah, the slickers, yeah, yeah. They're, they're doing that right now. Then you also have the next one is the tight roll, right? The tight roll is more casual than the loose fold. And this is so. So when you look at it, when you think about a tight roll, think about what joggers look like. Mm-hmm. That's what they, that's that's the look they're trying to go. They they pinch it at the bottom, right? Make it tight around the ankle, and then they roll that pinch up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. When I was in college, a lot of dudes from Dallas used to do that. Yeah, I was about yeah, we did it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. They a did lot it with the starchy Archie on top yeah. of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was real big look, on that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Look, look a hot mess. But it's okay. Yeah, um, it was a hot mess. I wasn't gonna say that. No, listen, I'm listen. I'm, 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 you know, um, the tight roll. Um, yeah. And so, uh, the tight roll is more casual than the loose fold. Ideal for styling jeans to show off your luxury leather fear of gods. Yeah. Most definitely. Uh, uh, every time you say figure out this boy, he no. Nope. When up. you said leather, being from that, I about I thought you were about to say short, leather shorts. Leather shorts. No, 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 did, you, did you have some leather shorts? I, no, never did. With the Coogee sweaters, never. And nah, the nah, lugs. Nah, nah. And now I'm showing my age. I'm nah, not. I'm not nah, gonna lie, I bro. Lugs. No, I love Coogee sweaters. Man, nah, it, yeah. it, man, it was a pair of leather. Shorts. I was like, man, I might try to get those, <laughs> but my order never came in. Here it come in, man. I, it's cool. I ain't paid for them up front though, so it's cool. Yeah, so yeah. I, boy, I wanted them jokes. Oh yeah, I already knew I was going. Cool. Yeah, I, I saw it's cool. I was in East Texas, so yeah. Oh that. yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You, nah, you nah, in you, Jasper, right? You see uh, that? Uh, not Jasper. Uh, Hawkins. Texas. Hawkins, yeah, Texas College. Yeah, you also yeah, saw yeah, yeah. Shags. You mm. saw? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had, yeah, I had yeah. a shag. Yeah, I did. I had, I had a shag. Yeah, they still do. Yeah, they still do. Yeah, unfortunately, y'all got to pray for. 
I got to pray for. So let's keep it pushing. Um, that, uh, one, another one we call called the once up, right? It's a clean, sharp look. So now that's simple. You just fold up the hem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just fold. It still kind of sits yeah. on top of your shoes. It's just right, right? Yeah, yeah. It becomes like a no break. Yeah. No, it becomes yeah. like a no break. Um, it's called uh, the once up is the name of it. Um, uh, the look turns weekday suit pants into weekend wonders. I, I, you know, uh, and, and yeah. so. It could definitely do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it can make it. It can make it I, real casual. I, I used to do that all the time. It's called the once up, and so um, then the next one is on a suit, right? Um, you, you know, look at the one that's on a suit. This is the one that you say you don't really like. Well, let, well, okay, I got a mental. Let me see. I'm gonna see because the, the, the idea. I, okay, when you when you say a crop, then I thought about the short pants, right? I thought about the short pants my man had on, mm-hmm. and then I then I had the mental picture where. Um, LeBron, I've been seeing LeBron. Yeah, LeBron, a lot been, of killing LeBron so, been killing it. LeBron been killing it. His his, his I, sock game be killing it but, with it though. But I don't like it on. I don't like it on the suit with that man. Yeah, so I don't like it on the suit with that. So I'm not big. I'm not real big on that. Yeah, well, I, I'm. I, I actually, because I've done it on the suit. Uh, I'm actually a, a big fan of it, basically, because you know it, it shows a different kind of, it shows a different kind of uh, level of fashion. But I also like it because um. You get to show off your socks. Uh, so I like I like the way LeBron LeBron's dad style these days is just you know him rolling up his pants and showing off his socks or whatever the case may be. So yeah, I have, I have, I have a couple of long suits and I have a couple of crop suits as well. So uh, you know I, I guess to, to each his own. But I'm a, I'm a crop pants guy. I like I like showing off my ankles. I like you know I like showing just a, a versatility in what's going on with it. See, man, like, like you look at those images, it's cool, but a lot of times I feel like people take it just a little bit too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shouldn't look like, like yeah, shorts. Yeah, like, I don't, I but those t- images are no, pretty good, though. Those but, are all right. But yeah, that's not that bad. But I feel like people take it a little too high. Right. There's where, always going to be buttons. Where damn near in the middle of your calf, and I'm like, man, you done. I yeah. Think, I think they take it too. Yeah. You're I, right. right. On that thing, it has little room for it, like a small margin of error. Small and margin. And I think people always take it a little too yeah. high. So, so, and so, my thing with those is I, I agree with you, especially being my height. You know, I'm, I got long, I'm a 30, I'm almost a 36 in my length. I got oh, okay. really long yeah, legs, yeah, yeah. even though I'm 6'4, I ain't super tall. But for me, I caution everybody for buying. Or or and or cropping them themselves with a tailor because that's it's, it's a major trend with suits. Mm-hmm. Like that is a trend. Like you know what I'm saying? If you cut them, it's a wrap. Yeah. If you got you got to make them some chinos, shorts after, after you know mm-hmm. what I'm, that's it. Because two three years, suits are not going to be like that again. It, it is what it is. That's the trend. Now if you roll them, put an iron in him where you can reduce, you can take it back out. Then I'm cool with that. But mm-hmm. but in terms of you know what I'm saying? Like because you know you look at the Tom Browns and you look at all of these. You know that's 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 what's hot right now, but I I don't Tom see that. Brown expensive with it too, bro. Bro, it's stupid expensive, oh, stupid, stupid expensive. expensive. You can go to Top Man and get something that looks just like a Tom Brown. I don't know if it looks well, just, just like a Tom like Brown. Just, just like it, but but it's in the same vein though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this portion of the show is sponsored by the Spear. Are you starting your business and looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand and sell your product? If so, your product placement and advertising needs. Handled, can be handled right here at The Spear. We offer a wide variety of content, delivery platforms including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue coupled with your strategic ad is surely to hit the mark every single time. Call us today at area code 832-772-7789. Or send an email over to us at advertise at the spear TV. Yeah, uh, no, with the Tom Brown and with the Top Man, that, I, I, I I've seen a couple Top Man suits that were pretty cool. Yeah, but that's Tom Brown. Maybe Wait, it's qu- just those three stripes that qu- make quality, it make yeah, it yeah, different. No, sure. yeah, quality yeah. wise, quality wise. I mean, and that's Tom Brown's newest stuff. He, he yeah. wasn't always three he stripes, wasn't always three stripes. Yeah. Um, but quality wise, no, you can't. I mean, you can't compare. Tom, yeah, Tom Man. Tom Man is not bad. It ain't Zara quality. It ain't as bad as Zara quality. Yeah, that's why um, they're more expensive. Than yeah, Zara. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Zara, you, you, you better get have a hell of a night. Yeah, <laughs> get every hour out that night. Zara, Zara, Zara is the, is the uh, <laughs> European Forever Twenty One. That's exactly what they are. They, yeah. they got they got a ticking clock on. Yeah, them. Yeah. yeah. But see, you know what? I got I got like I got a pair of Zara biker joints that look just like um, Balmain. Balmain, yeah. I, I had them for like five years. And they just now started friend, but I took care of my stuff though. You know what I'm saying? This is why you gotta take care of your stuff, y'all. Like take care of your gotta stuff. Gotta take care of it. Guys, I don't care if you call twelve dollars. Take care of it, man. Yeah. Cause it's your twelve dollars you gave. Back to these um crop trousers. 
Another look uh, is crop trousers and sneakers. Now, this is what I love to do, and this is definitely what you love to oh, do. Oh, yeah, I love We actually have a trousers. picture of you doing it. Oh, word? Yeah, I'm we got a picture of you doing it. One? Oh, why did y'all niggas? do this? I had, hey, I, had to, I had to show my boy the, some love. Hey, <laughs> I had to show yeah, my boy yeah. some love. That was, you know? was kind of all right. Yeah, that was a dope. My, yeah. That was my animal <laughs> joints. I mean, no, no, I, no. I love, I love you too, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the crop trousers, and, and it's a, it's a favorite of mine as well. Yeah. Um, See, but I don't mind it because it's not too high. I think exactly. So yeah, when yeah. they go too high, that's why I think throws it. Yeah, off. no, that, it becomes capris at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of them walking around with it though. No facts. Facts. I think I. See more of that than I do. Yeah, just a little ankle showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the key though, Royce, and please back me up on this, both of y'all. The key to the crop trousers with the sneakers, especially the like the the, the suit pants or the, the slacks as we call them, mm-hmm. um, is we're well, not always, but it just looks better with a low top sneaker. Yeah, it just looks better. Yeah, yeah. It just looks the, better with the, a snow, low top sneaker. The first thing is a low top sneaker. The second thing. It has to be your tailored pants to sneaker ratio. It has to be a sleek sneaker like a, a Chuck Taylor or a Shell Toe Adidas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nothing bulky because if you do a crop pants with a, a, a bulky sneaker, it's you like a cafeteria. Lady. Yeah, 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 it's, it's gonna look horrible. It's gonna look horrible. Or even a Chuck Taylor. Stan, Stan Smith. Stan Smith. Very, very, very common, common yeah. project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Typical, I say, I say, honestly, I do like a running shoe or a shoe yeah, that's just dope super runners, flat. Yeah, yeah, because because if you do anything that's high top, whatever, it's gonna get caught. Up on the mm-hmm. tongue on top, yeah. it's just gonna look yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't gonna just flow yeah, yeah, straight exactly, down to the bottom. Exactly yeah. because because of the pants. The pants is a light material. Yeah, yeah. Cause I've been wearing slacks with Chuck since honestly since like oh six. Right, exactly. Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, for sure. Then. For sure. For sure. Then you also have the crop trousers and espadrilles. A lot of guys don't like. Don't even know what an espadrille is. For yeah, sure, I'm gonna, espadrilles just toms. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the espadrilles. Like, toms. That's, that's toms. Toms. Espadrilles. Fees. And so I love. It. I, I love like it. it. If is you it, pull it off, it's just I don't think you know. There's certain things I just don't touch. I don't think I. Yeah. I, I never got into times and they look like they gonna make my feet hurt. Yeah. Well, see, I'm flat footed, so everything my feet up, my foot always hurt. Okay, okay. okay. Like, like like when I get out of the pool, you see my whole footprint. <laughs> I don't see no arch. You, you know, know what I'm no saying? None, son. I'm a hundred percent funny. And I ran track for a long time and was successful. Yeah, that but just that just show how fast you were. Well, no, no, I just could go. I could go up. I okay. couldn't. I was decent in speed, but I was going up was my okay. guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But um, um. I love the espadrilles look because it's more of a summery look. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lighter shoe. Put it on with a dope with some linen, or you know what I'm saying, or a springtime uh, and crop. And and that's what, and that's another reason why I say this whole crop pants look is isn't new because dudes do it all the time in the, in the spring or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. all the time. Yeah, yeah it ain't definitely. new. You know what I mean? It's just, it just, it's just it's, it's popping. Yeah, it's just super super yeah. popping. It's a difference. Then you got um, lastly crop trousers and boots or crop jeans and boots. That's, that's I love a dope. Do. One. I love that's to do crop one. crop roll my jeans up. What type what, of boots? Um, I like the brogue ones. Yeah, brogues. Personally, for that okay. look, brogues because it's rugged. It's a rugged okay. look. I don't do I don't do it with the with the Chelsea's or anything like that. But give okay. me a dope brogue, or I, I'm not gonna do it with a with a work boot, with a Tim boot, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But a, but oh, a, yeah. Yeah. A, a brogue boot is that's really I think most of my pretty much only ones, huh? Yeah, I think. Well, that's the Chelsea up there though. It don't look that no, bad. That's actually on brogue. It's on a the right. Brogue. On the right, it's a quarter brogue. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you oh, see the cap, so it's okay, a quarter bro. Yeah, uh-huh. okay. it's a quarter bro. I was looking at the side of it. You saw that fabric on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah that fabric live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that whole that whole unit live, man. Yeah. That whole unit. I like the unit on the left too. For though. sure, agreed. Far left. Yeah, yeah. agreed. That's, agreed. That's, that's my steez right there. Agreed. Mine too. In terms of in terms of the the, the, the very far left with the, with the yeah, yeah. No, agreed. Yeah, I'm about to try that one. Like, they about to rob a bank, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's a black. You black. You buy a black man with a beard. You might, want, might not yeah, want to do yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You right about that. I might not want to be dressing all black. Like Hashtag the convict in action. <laughs> CIA, huh? Not the wrong one. Now he say, say man, say man. I'm, I'm with you, man. I, I mean, don't want you no know, parts of none. Of a lot of times one. when we when we talk when we talk from a perspective of. Um, you know, we all 30 plus. You just said happy early birthday coming up in the next month, man. You know what yeah, I'm we gonna celebrate that's, all yeah, February. We gonna celebrite. I know, but you we, just told us you about to be 35. He I and will, I, we, I will, you know what I'm saying? I'm past 30, 35. Yeah, we past 35. 35. Yeah, 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 you grown, we grown man status. Yeah, anyway. of course, of course. Of course. And so I think there's some there's some questions as we grew to men and all gentlemen. I think that we got to be able to answer these questions. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We got to be able, and if not answer, I'm not gonna fault the guy for not answering them because everybody comes to certain. Levels, whatever that level is, at different times, but at least be willing to address them before you know what I'm saying. Do your do your course as a man, right? Or just mm-hmm. just take time to even think about 
Hey, facts. Okay. Think, think about, about why can't I answer it? Yeah, exactly. Facts. Because that just help start the journey to answering it. Exactly, exactly. And the first one I think is you got to know who and what deserves your time. That's the most precious commodity we have, Please fam. Please don't waste your time out here. I told you he was going to be jamming to this list. Your time. <laughs> Please but, know who and what deserves your time. That yeah. is the best question because the one thing we can't get back is time. We can make our money back. We can. A lot of things you we can, can get, get a back. relationship back. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But the time spent, please don't waste your time, folks. I'm gonna say this. I and I, I still might be on the selling. I think about ninety percent of people, maybe ninety five percent of people, don't honestly know who should get their time. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Or they might be willing to give it somebody. Who at, don't deserve. At they this, don't deserve their time. Well, no, they might be willing to give it to them now when they should have got it then. And this person should have got it then, and now they want to give it to him now. I got you. Yeah, the time, the time the, yeah, the the, the, the timetable is all off. I don't know who to give it to, and when they do, is is it is it the right time? And I think a lot of people have problems with that. Yeah, very true. Yeah, yeah. You know, the next one, man. How satisfied am I with my life? And I think really that that speaks to just doing self assessment mm-hmm. consistently. Okay, this is where I am now. This is where I want to be. Am I on track? This, these are my good set your goals right set your, your your three your five your ten whatever however whatever you want to do in terms of your plan how satisfied am i right now you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. to me that this is a conversation of, a, of doing self-assessment of course yeah. of course and, and and folks as we go down this list hold on to the one he just said because the rest of these questions if you answer those i think will help you answer this question about how satisfied you are with your life yeah yeah you know what i'm saying uh I, I'm, I'm telling you, man, just being able to look at yourself introspectively, mm-hmm. you know, and figure out what it is you want, figure out what it is you're selling to people and advertising to people, figure out what it is you're doing, I think will, will help you uh, in, in progressing and becoming a gentleman. Well, this portion of the show is sponsored by KNG, KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Unleash your dopeness. Is a people empowerment movement built to encourage the masses to operate outside of their fears and have the gall to recklessly pursue their dreams and passions in life. Join thousands of others as we unlock the greatness that dwells inside. Shop dope gear at KOGPassion.com. That's K-O-G Passion.com. And use the coupon code DOPE for 10% off exclusive Unleash Your Dopeness apparel. Act now. Sizes are selling fast. Go yeah. get you some dope gear. Yeah, please get you some dope gear. But that's 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 definitely a, a great question as far as how satisfied I am with my life. I, I I consistently ask myself that question because I'm not a complacent individual, um, and so I'm the I'm the type of guy that uh, I'm always self assessing because I want more. I want more. I'm super ambitious. I got a, a million and one goals that I want to achieve. So yeah, that's 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 definitely a big question to ask. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you, man. Of course, man. Uh, another question on there is, what do I want? Mm. And you know, I think it should be like, what do I want out of life? Uh-huh. What do I want in a relationship? What do I want for myself? Uh, before we can, how can I put this? I think we really need to take the time to really figure out like, what do I want for myself? Like, what do I see myself? Do I think I can, I can accomplish these goals? Like, I don't, and even, and even. And even with me daily, I'm still constantly trying to figure out what do I really want. I mean, see, see me, but you just said it daily. That's that assessment thing. You're daily looking at Nate and the thing and saying, okay, this is what I want. Now, what am I doing to get it? Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I screwed up on that. Oh, no, I did that right. So let me repeat that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. you're daily, you know, looking at, at what it is. And I think we have to do that. Man. Most definitely. Yeah, I don't think you can get comfortable or be complacent with anything because then when you do that, it's inevitable that people are gonna pass you by, and time will pass you by. You you look up, five months, five years, everything's passed, and because you can't get it back. Right. So yeah. You you got to be in a constant mode of, of, like you know, just like what they say, get better again. Like, gotta get better, gotta mm-hmm. get better. Yeah. yeah what can yeah. I do to control? And a lot of time, uh, what other thing I think is people call up a lot of time. Everybody wants to hit a home run. Nah. Just, just do get on base, bro. Do something every day. If you do something a little bit every day to reach the goal, you'll be there. Most for definitely. Your I mean, you got Hall of Famers in, in, in the NBA that didn't average twenty. You know True. what I mean? You know what I mean? Like you got Hall of Famers in the, in the MLB that that didn't have a four hundred batting average, three hundred batting average. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like very true. You know, like you don't just to be great. Don't mean you got like you said hit a home run every time. Yeah, man. Yeah, but like I said, I think it, I think it go. It starts off with like, okay, what do I want, and then yeah. you can figure out. What you can do to get that and get where you want to be. Another question is, am I made to work for someone? 
or for myself. Mm. That's a big one right there. That's a real big That's one. That's a big one. That's a real big one. I had to come to the realization that I need to work for myself. It's like, I'm saying, okay. I, we got the same Us three. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but, Us three. And, and, and that goes... And I, that's just something I, I, I had to really sit down because, like I said, one, me being irritable. <laughs> Two, um, I'm always going to speak my mind no matter if it's, if it's quote unquote politically correct or not. Right. So I don't care who's there. If something's wrong, I'm going to tell you it's wrong. I'm going. I don't mind ruffling feathers. That's not the best thing for corporate America. Yeah. But but so. but that's something I'm willing to do because it needs to be done, and that's how I feel it should be. And just at the end of the day, I want whenever I have kids and family, I want to have something I can leave to somebody. Yeah. I can't leave them a job. Yeah. But if I t- but if I take the leap of faith and go out there and just really try to do something, mm-hmm. hey, you know I can I can have some. That's one of the reasons you know I got WJ. That's one of the reasons I'm here at Jesus for Gen. I'm trying to build something to where one day they can be like, oh, I'm just gonna go work for my daddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I can take and, over what my dad was doing. And yeah, that's yeah. one of the dopest yeah. things ever to think about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Leave the legacy behind. Or even if they don't want to do that, they have the option to choose if they want mm-hmm. to do it or not. If you want to And they can still benefit from it being done because you'll put somebody in place to still do it, but they still so, re- receive the benefits from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because they get the dividends. Be, like the yeah. Walton family. All of the Walton uh, family don't work at Walmart. Walmart. But they, they all pay. They from it, though. You yeah, know what I mean? Of course, of course, man, because, you know. And I'm, anybody knows me I'm real big on Level playing fields And fairness And stuff like that That's nothing I did that Not because I wanted people Alright I'm going to teach y'all How to put your best foot forward So when you go to the interviews I'm just trying to teach y'all Something else to help Level the playing field So you know A lot of times We come out to situations Where we only have So many options mm-hmm. So I want to leave Something to where They have as many options As possible Yeah no doubt I agree man yeah. I agree What's next What, <sighs> what does a big- being a man Mean to me that's a big one, dog. Can we think can we think we got it. We we think we got it under control. Yeah. Yeah, that's nigga, that's a oh, yeah. sorry. That's a man. That's a man. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's 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 major. Uh like I said, because I, I, I consistently um analyze myself. And sometimes I'll be telling people, say, man, I I'm I'm one of the, the biggest screw ups ever and I, I I need to get my life together. Cause there are certain things that, you know, when you look at biblically the responsibilities of a man. Um, not only just a husband or a father, but of a man, what we're, what we're put here to do, which is prot- provide, protect, and, and, and leave an inheritance, how many of us actually are doing it? Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of us are just living for ourselves. And, and, and one of the things is that, you know, hey, we got we to gotta make sure that we have ourselves together financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically, uh, and, and, and on, on, on every aspect. So that's, that's a very, very powerful question. You know, man, for me, man, I'm going to tell you, uh, shout out to my wife, man, uh, my business partner, my partner in time. She get, she blew my mind with this whole provision thing. She was like, and, and you know, we've been, you know, we just celebrated, celebrated 10 years of marriage and, and God has been Congrats. Been, appreciate Congrats it. Again. And God has really uh, uh, allowed us to work with a number, uh, walk with a number of different couples and stuff because, you know, we've, you know, we have, we've had a successful marriage, thank God. Um, but. We, I, we at when we when we talk to these couples, we are always out, talk to the husband or the husband to be, uh, and say, "Listen, ask your wife what provision is to her." Because my wife blew my mind because she was like, "Yeah, I don't need you for money." When I married my wife, she was already a successful attorney. I, I was a college flunk out. She I was making bread. She already had the business. I already had the lofts downtown. She was like, she was, she was doing the thing. Like, I don't need you for money. I need you to provide me emotional st- stability. That was the provision I needed. She needed me to provide her. That's beautiful. You see what I'm saying? That's beautiful. You, you, so, so my, I'm not saying every woman is like that. What I'm saying is ask the question of your woman, what is provision to you so that I can provide what you need me to provide? Mm-hmm. You, know you see what, what I'm saying? I'm going to ask another way because I don't know if everybody's going to know. They'll be like, what is provision? But but if, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, well, guess, yeah ask it away into which you can yeah, receive yeah, it. Or yeah. like, you know, so how do you want me to provide? You know what I'm saying? Like, so we can, because I think those are conversations that we don't have in terms of in relationships that that's we just don't great, have up front. That, that's a great way to. Yeah, how do you want me to provide? That's like, let, let me know. So I, so I can meet your expectation. Or, no, nah, I can't even do that. So let's just stop right now. Or, yeah, like, like you, you know kind of figure that thing out. I'm be honest with you. I think that more so than not will catch somebody off guard. You even ask them that. Be like, oh. I got to think about this. Well, yeah, I think yeah. It, I think that really will kind of. And, like, and I think it opens up the conversation. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because cause when, she, when she said it to me, I looked at her like, you, you don't need, you don't need me to work. I was, you know, I'm, I'm finna, I get three. I'm like, I'm an old southern cat. I get three gigs, three four yeah, gigs if I need yeah. to. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Raised by people from Mississippi, you know. So yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, <laughs> um, 
but but I think that's just a powerful thing in terms of being a man. You know what I'm saying? Like like mm-hmm. figuring out like, what is being a man. You know, whatever that is to you, bro. I think that's really really uh, and the, the people to whom with whom you're connected. Number what is what would number we on? Number six. What inspires me? Figure out your inspiration. Right? What motivates you? What Black gets people. you up? And, I love it. Black people. Agreed, man. Agreed. The creativity, the the, the hardships we've gone through, um, the 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 potential of what we can become as a whole. Uh, just trying to get back what we lost. Yeah. Just everything about it. Black yeah. folks. We we the greatest people on earth. Man. That's how I feel. I, I I'm gonna be I honest agree. with you. I'm gonna say it's an empirical fact. I can prove it. We ain't saying that show. But I it's facts, man. We created mathematics. Yeah. Go to, go to Timbuktu. Go to Kush. You know what I'm saying? Look at the scrolls in East Africa. Like we we created that stuff, man. We the greatest ever, bro. What is is another one I think you it's marriage for me. Woo. It ain't for everybody, man. Stop trying to let people say, and I say it like that on purpose. Stop trying to let people say that you supposed to be like not nah, it ain't some people just not supposed to be mad. The numbers alone won't let it happen. Yeah. I think it's beneficial. Okay. I felt like I always, I knew I knew I always wanted to be married. Yeah. I, all my whole life I wanted a wife. Well, I want to be married. Kid. You know what, man? I want to be married. I'll, 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 you get a shot. You get a shot. I want to be married. Hey, no. You need to make a shirt. Say so you get a shot. <laughs> you get a shot. Because I'm going to shoot it. I don't. <laughs> I'm going to shoot Muslim my shot. Bro, I, I don't agree with you. I think everybody is supposed to be married. Think so? Just, just coming from a biblical sense because yeah. the way God set it up. But my thing is, I think people go about go about it wrong when they pick they're their rushing. partners. Yeah. I think people Too be sure. like, oh, I, I, we should get married because you've been together for a long time. No. I don't, I don't think people pray about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think... Um, I, I don't think people... They, 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 they I don't take their time. I don't, I don't think people have it. tough conversations. Yeah. Um, That's I, a key one. I, I don't think people are completely honest. Like, like she should know all of your terrible stuff. And then she should be surprised by your good stuff. But mm. what happens is people are surprised by the bad... They get surprised by the bad stuff. Yeah. They get caught off guard and get surprised by the bad stuff. When everybody human, but, they got it's full of bad. They be like, "What? Why you didn't tell me this?" But but think about it, they were surprised by something good. Be like, oh man, why you didn't tell me this? Yeah, uh-huh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think it's a, I think people go about stuff the wrong way. Cause just cause somebody's good looking and y'all like the same stuff doesn't mean doesn't mean that's who God has for you. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Cause opposites do what. So the person God has for you might be somebody's completely opposite, or it might be the person you've been living next door to your whole life. Right. Like I don't think people pray about it. And like pray together about it and be like, hey, all right, let's see what's what. Yeah. But that's but that, that's just me though. No, I know. No, I, that's that's a good that's points, a good point. Man. That's yeah, a good yeah. point. But remember, you get a shot if you if you holler. Uh, hey, hey, body by Royce, I'm telling you, you get a shot, ladies. <laughs> Straight up. This guy's stupid. <laughs> number eight, man. It's parenting for me. Like I like, love being a parent. I love it. I listen. I absolutely love being a pops. Yeah. I love it. But everybody ain't meant to be. Look, man, stop running around here sewing your world, world, yeah, world yeah, those yeah, nigger yeah, heads, yeah. skeeting them women. You Going what back to what I said, people doing stuff in the wrong order and doing nope, it wrong. Sure. Yeah. I feel like if you do it the way that God intended us for us to do it, you will be fine. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I don't think most people do that. Now, now the, the, the data supports you. 52% of marriages end in divorce. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted to say something. Something Over 50% of, of kids are born out of wedlock now. Not that, you know, mm-hmm. stuff happens, right? Yeah. But 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 still, you know, that, that that's an indicator in terms of what you're saying. Yeah, man. I I definitely do. The thing about it, when they, what do they say the main reason marriages don't last? Finances. And, and typically and communication yeah. Okay uh, so oh, communication About finance And the communication <laughs> was that Like I said We not talking about stuff mm-hmm. And then we getting And finances Honestly You probably would have been In that situation If you would have can't If you would have just told The other person What was going on Or if you would have asked The other person How you would need me To provide for you Yeah And they usually find out When they sit Y'all sitting there And the lights get cut off Oh what happened Yeah like they usually find out stuff when it's they too late. Yeah, and a lot of times, even with us, because lot, I'm be honest, women are better with money. They're, they're yeah. smarter. Very and, much. And so. as men, because we want to be the provider, we don't want to tell them anything. So we try to be like, I'm not going to tell her because I can figure it out before it's too late. Yeah. And then we haven't figured it out, and it's too late. Now we got to dig ourselves out of an even I'm bigger hole. Right now, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. I would not be where I am without my wife. My wife handles our yeah. finances. I can believe it, bro. My wife, cause she's just better at it than me. I look at the long term investments. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what we're doing. Let's put our money here. Let's put. I know what's going on, but I, I, I ain't that detail. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm a. Hey, it's just listen. Yeah, so, so that we won't be in the red, huh? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're much more de- the much more detail, they're much more, more intricate. Sh- yeah. yeah, way more detail. But generally he, speaking, but he made it like that. He did. He did because they got to because they got to care for the kids. You see what I'm saying? He, you know, so it has to. You know, but but so don't don't be ashamed. Um, number nine, what does fun look like for me? How do I have fun? What does it look like for me? You know what I'm saying? That's a, I think that's another a good question. I because people just people often think that that people enjoy the same things or or fun like if you're an introvert. Going out and going to parties and kicking it, that's too much for you. Way too much too, of time. Yeah. That's not fun. Yeah. But if you're a, an extreme extrovert and you get with an introvert, y'all got to figure some stuff out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Happy, happy medium. Yeah, y'all got to figure some stuff out. And, 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 and number 10, what would I do if I knew I couldn't fail? It's <laughs> a few things I would do. Yeah. Man, if I knew I couldn't me. fail, you know, I, what would I do? And, and then even, and even, then even, Determining and defining what is failure to you, because is 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 success is is success just because you made a bunch of bread? Oh, I'm, I was thinking something like extremely outlandish when you said. Oh, that. okay. What you thinking? I was like, man, I'll go to the Federal Reserve and take. The- <laughs> no, 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 no. I'd be like Robert. I'd take bread all back to the to oh, the, back back to the hood. To, to the urban communities, yeah, uh-huh, man, yeah. and, and and try to no, no. and level the playing field. I'm with you. I love it. Now I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like, now let's play ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now blow the whistle. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I will. So the game right, let, Let's level this up. Uh huh. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? I'm with it, man. I'm that's, y'all. That's the militant gent right there. We hey, told man, you, man. He, he gonna get a shirt to say militant gent. Hey, man. I'm gonna get a shirt that's gonna say shoot your shot. And I'm gonna yeah. get a shirt that says how you want me to provide. Hey, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> We finna start a movement. You know what I'm talking about? We finna start hey, a movement. Hey, you need to ask your wife if that's in the finances for you to get that shirt. <laughs> Facts. Because Facts. she's controlling She don't go over that. the budget. <laughs> oh, I'm going yeah. to prove I'm going to run about a boss. It's okay. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. Yeah. It's wrong. okay. That's how you keep your job. Listen, man. man. Facts. You got to run about a boss to keep your job. Listen, it's been a phenomenal show. But we got two more things real quick. And I, and I, and I think we haven't done this in a while. Um, but we love talking culture on the show. Um, and I want to ask my boy Nate, what's in your playlist, bro? So, so... Two things I've been listening to. I've been listening to Doggy Style by Snoop, his first album, which, which I think is one of the best classic rap classic. albums of all time. Agreed. First one I knew, front to back, inside and out. And I also been on this Tony Tony Tony's greatest hits. Now I'm about to I'm about to hit y'all with, with something, and and I had this debate with somebody. They tried to argue me down. I was said the best R and B group of all time. Everybody wanted to say Joe. I was like Tony Tony Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony! You don't realize how many hits they have. Bro. They have a bunch of hits. Man. Yeah, but I still wouldn't. I still wouldn't agree with them. I would, I would, no, no. I would say they're the best. No, no, no. That's it, gonna be have to be a different show. Bro. Yeah, it will be they because got, they got a bunch of hits. Because I'd be like, cause I, cause what I tell people numbers on. I'd be like, name look, whoever you would pick off top. Who would you say? Off top, boys, man. I say boys, man. Well, was, and I'd be like, right, let's, I, and I tell you, I like, dro- I be like, drop, I like, name it. And honestly, when I was doing it, that was the only group that people could say, yeah, boom, mm-hmm. boom. Because when they said Josie, yeah, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say Josie. I wouldn't, even though they're one of my favorite. It might be my favorite. They could have been. See, but this is the thing. This is the thing. So yeah, drugs got away. Th- yeah. See, see, yeah. It, 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 you know, you know, I compare everything to back to sports. Man, Tony, they, they like them pages. They, they, they're not very flashy. Yeah, no, for sure. But they just constantly they just drunk. Win. And then they had a, see, people don't realize, very underrated, they had a musical genius. Oh, oh Rafael Sadiq. He Rafael, wrote for, for a million people. People don't realize how many people he's written for. Yes. Yeah. And how many. Him and Babyface. Yeah. You mean They probably done put your Edmunds, favorite right, person yeah, on. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, people yeah, don't realize, yeah. those two people, people don't realize how much they've done for Thanks. R&B. So I'd be like, nah, you can say that. I'd be like, bro, I said, he plays so many instruments. Mm-hmm. He's written so much stuff. Play five. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Rafael Sadiq has done. No, he's a, no. Rafael Sadiq is one of the greatest yeah. entertainers of all time. One of my most favorite songs, uh, Rafael Sadiq wrote, that uh, that Willie Mack song. Yes. I can't get a love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. He, Yo, thank. I know I sound toned up. He's the music. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. He's the musical director for, um, what's Issa Rae's joint? That's uh, secure. Insecure. Oh yeah, he's a musical yeah. director for that, yeah. and 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 I and I literally yeah. watch Insecure with my Shazam open. Yeah, yeah. So I, oh, I don't know, but, but, that's but, but, that? but he's yeah. done it. He's done it for a lot of shows, yeah. and this was yeah. the man behind all of the hits. All yeah. the hits. I, I I can't argue with. You. I, like I said, I'm not gonna argue with. You, you. can't argue. I'm not gonna argue. I I wouldn't pick him, but I understand the logic. For and me I to say, the, for me to say that, you know, I got some facts, bro. I got you. Bro. I got, we know. I got, we some, know. I got notes. I'm like. I'm like a, I'm like a litigator who ain't never went to law school. I me, mean, I take 
Because <laughs> I like I don't like to lose, bro. If I'm going to come with you, I'm like, all right, this is yeah. why I say this. This is my argument. Yeah. This is the argument that you're probably going to present. I was prepared for that, so here's right. my rebuttal. <laughs> right, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. What's in your library, bro, right now? Man, right now I'm um, reading this book called the, the Dress of the Man. It's by Alan Flusser, so I'm real big on keeping up your craft. So basically what it is, it just, um, just talks about fashion in general, talking about like, it tells you everything from what type of fabrics and what type of looks to wear for each season, why um, certain styles were ever invented, like the reason behind it, and the, it gives you vocabulary for everything you need to know of men's fashion. It, it just tells you everything, so you can just really go in there and just really just read. It shows you what type of ties go, what type of collars, what type of sports coat. It tells you like it gives you all the potent information you need for men's fashion. Yeah, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to go get that. Yeah, no, no, no. I ordered it I, when, when, when you told me about it uh, earlier today. I was like, yeah, I got. I looked at. It, I said, okay, yeah, I got to go to Amazon and order that joint. And he's a, he's actually written uh, quite a few yeah, books about fashion. He quite has. He has. That's the first one I ordered. But yeah, yeah and, and a lot of people like you know it from from Calvin Klein. Everybody was like, yo. They basically comment on it, but like he knows the stuff. He's because I um I used to have a job. I was doing like an apprenticeship, and the guy was like, "Hey man, I want you to read this book before you get on. You can kind of learn more about stuff." So a lot of stuff I knew, but he gave me more like he gave me more history and a backstory mm-hmm. of why these things are done for this reason. Yeah, yeah. That it wasn't just for style. Like there's a reason why people show their cuff right. on, when they're wearing a the suit. It's to protect the suit, right? Because the shirt fabric catches it the dirt and stuff before before, before it hits the suit uh-huh. and back in the 40s when people wearing suits all the time but they couldn't afford a bunch of different suits because of depression that was just a way of them taking care of the suits and making it last long right. mm-hmm. so it so it just gave up little tidbits like that stuff so that's dope man that's dope listen we want to give y'all a bunch of tidbits and we thank you for tuning in each and every week to the tidbits that we love to give we love talking men's wear. we love talking culture we love talking travel we love talking how to be a phenomenal gentleman in 2019. You know what I'm saying? Listen, remember, raise your glasses, gentlemen. You can always keep a gangster or you can keep it gentlemanly. It's quite a bottle of water. I'm sorry. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Keep it G. Till next time. All right, all right.